Welcome back guys to another video. I got a very special penny stock today, which is a penny stock that might be listing themselves on the NASDAQ going from the OTC penny stock market. The reason why it's such a big deal is only the best companies on the OTC that have good revenues, good growth and good products are eligible to be listed on the NASDAQ. So it's actually a really big boost for Alpine for Technologies. And I'll also tell you guys why the stock is pretty undervalued if you compare it to other companies in the same sector. Right now, Alpine for Technologies, it's doing really well. And it's a holding company with multiple subsidiaries. And you probably have seen multiple different products from Alpine for Technologies. And it's a holding company, but if you check this out, Look at all the other companies they do. Look at all the other industries that they attack at, and they have a very good management system. And they are always acquiring smaller companies on a yearly basis. Like this year alone, 2021, we should be seeing three to four different companies being acquired by Alpine Ford Technologies. And the more companies they acquire, obviously, the bigger they get. And let's just check out the overall share price. And before we dive any deeper, keep in mind that I don't own any shares of ALPP. That's the ticker name. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. Definitely check out the free Discord server in the description below. More than 26,000 members and counting. It's completely free to join. We also have a Patreon link below. Definitely check that out. So Alpine 4 Technologies has stabilized at around $3.75. It's not really going up that much. It's not really going down that much. After this first initial surge all the way up, obviously you will be seeing a pretty decent sell-off because investors want to take their profits. It hit a peak of $4.64, dropped all the way down to $2.47, went all the way back up, but now it's somewhat stabilized at about $3 to $4, which is honestly pretty nice. So ALPP has stabilized. I think a lot of individuals know that these guys will be listing on the NASDAQ very soon. And that's what everyone is saying. They have very good revenues. They're essentially debt free, which is extremely rare for a penny stock these days. And this is like the definition of going from just a mere pennies to a few dollars. And very soon, if they get approved, they'll be moving from the OTC market to the NASDAQ. You clearly see it already announces its plans to list to the NASDAQ. And it's becoming very clear they have been doing some great work, good revenues, and has announced that all the way back in late December 2020 that the board of directors has voted to get this company out of the OTC market. And this is a huge leap for Alpine for Technologies. And if they do go to the NASDAQ, and since they're a penny stock, they will get even more exposure from people on Webull, Robinhood. And obviously, you have a very good reputation because you just left the pink sheets and now you're in with the big guys. Alpine for Technologies is also backed by two Tesla Motors founders. You do have Martin Eberhard and also Mark Tarpening. These guys founded Tesla Motors. And this is probably one of their biggest ventures. Now they're backing Alpine for Technologies because they are absolutely adding in a ton of drone companies. And that is big. I think 2021 this year, everyone is thinking about electric vehicles, but drones is just as important. And with Alpine for Technologies being debt free, they're making money and also being backed by Tesla Motors founders. I think this stock is doing really good. They also recently completed an acquisition of Impossible Aerospace, and they're also working with the US Air Force because they have so many drone companies. If you also check this out, they just got their first $1.5 million contract with the US Air Force. They have a lot of tech, they have a lot of different drone companies, and so far, I think this would be a very great relationship with the US Air Force. And if these drones are successful, we could be seeing Alpine 4 Technologies getting even more money. But then again, even if they don't, they have a ton of other companies and a ton of other industries that they're focusing on. So I'm not really that afraid. Right now, Alpine 4 Technologies is making money and the company expects to report 2020 sales of roughly 33 to $35 million. And that's a 19 to 24% increase over 2019. That's very good. And that's an increase in sales and revenue during one of the worst times in the economy world because we just had the pandemic. So many companies were losing money. People were getting laid off, but Alpine 4 Technologies actually experienced a roughly 20 to 24% increase in revenue. That's very impressive. Now, if you check out Alpine 4 Technologies, the market cap of this company is $468 million. And we just said 
that they made a lot of money. Their revenue is roughly 26, 30, 34 million dollars around that area. Now, if you check out this company right here, this is UAVS. This is a penny stock and now it's at $11. Their market cap is $674 compared to Alpine's $468. So you could kind of say it's about twice as big as Alpine for technologies. UAVS, their revenue isn't that high. Their revenue is only $2 million. Yeah, you heard that right. This company's revenue is $2 million. They do drones. Alpine for technologies has roughly $26, $30 million of revenue. They do drones as well but their market cap is twice as small. That makes no sense. If you try to price Alpine for Technologies as you do with UAVS, well, you could say that Alpine for Technologies could be worth like 10 or even $15. So I'm not really sure what in the world is going on. I think this is a pretty undervalued stock and I still feel like a lot of people don't really understand Alpine for Technologies. I think they see it as a holdings company and they don't actually look at the companies underneath them. They have been acquiring numerous different drone companies and keep in mind that they're working with the U.S. Air Force and even getting a $1.5 million contract. And so far, they're doing really well, acquiring several different drone companies out there and improving themselves. Alpine 4 Technologies also has the QCA subsidiary. It has already booked $1.5 million in new work and it's just with EV customers this quarter for 2021. So several other smaller companies are getting a lot of contracts for other major companies. And so far, Alpine 4 Technologies is really trying to get themselves into the big game. They're working with several companies in the Fortune 500 and even touching toes with Apple. And working with the U.S. Air Force is also very beneficial and pretty lucrative as well. So if you check out the overall share price, investors seem to know this. Even though the volume has somewhat tapered off, the share prices are extremely stabilized at a price of above $2.50. I think $2.50 is a massive resistance point. If you check this out, it did go all the way up to like $4.90. It dropped all the way down to $3.72, and now it has somewhat flattened out. I think once they get to the NASDAQ, show prices will definitely shoot up. A lot of people know that Alpine 4 Technologies makes a lot of revenue, but the share prices are undervalued. Like seriously, if you compare to other companies for example, UAVS, it doesn't really make that much sense when Alpine 4 Technologies and their revenues are so high, but their valuation is so low. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Let's just hope for the best of this penny stock. I think it's pretty interesting to see, especially how it's also backed by the former Tesla founders. I think it's pretty cool. Comment below. How do you guys feel about Alpine 4 Technologies? And before you leave, definitely hit the subscribe button. We have daily videos and also definitely check out the free Discord server in the description below. There's more than 26,000 members and it's free to join. Thanks for watching.